right, next video. How much money does Mr. Beast make? It's humble beginnings, Jimmy Donaldson was able to turn his genuine passion for making YouTube videos into a conglomerate of businesses, restaurants, charities, and investments. And today we're getting an inside look into Forbes' highest paid creator, allowing us to see exactly how he spends his day and his money. Enjoy. When is the moment that you realized that you could turn this into a business? Probably when I started making around twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month is when it kind of clicked in my head. I was just like, wait a minute. If I just had a helper, I could do this two times faster. I could upload twice as much. And so then I just brought on a guy to help me move boxes and just help with the simple stuff. And I was like, yeah, bro. I remember Jimmy's old videos used to just be like at home, sh like all those Orbeez in the pool and all that. Sh like now he has like actual production grade, like almost movie like videos. But back then it used to be literally just be like giving away money, giving away money, doing like crazy sh having a bunch of Legos, like whatever the f Hire an editor. And then I just basically hired someone every month for the last like six years. Yeah, so we have basically cameras for different things. Um, as the videos have gotten crazier, we've just built up a giant arsenal of stuff. How many hours do you- Imagine having that many cameras. That was for the burger video I was in. So many cameras. We've just built up a giant arsenal of stuff. How many hours do you work in a day? I would say since I was 11 years old, almost, every waking hour of the day, I'm thinking of YouTube in some form or capacity. I feel like it was almost like baked in my DNA. Like it yeah. just flows in my blood, the, the now, innate- I do think, I don't think he works like 16 hours a day, but I genuinely think Jimmy works so much, especially compared to like the boys that are in the video. Like they show up, they're there like briefly, but they're mainly like for the video. He's still a part of the behind the scenes ideas and I'll think of just like you know what we could have done better how we could edit a video better or finances or whatever so I'm trying to like actually find ways to like pull back a little bit and so I sleep a little bit better hopefully it's not too messy so I have everything I need in here um yeah it's nuts that he sleeps in his fucking office like he doesn't even have a house Mr. Beast just sleeps in his office like that's office shit that's literally fucking Bro, I, that, I, I came in late, right? But they toured it. Not his room, but they toured, like, their office and shit. I think it was Jack. Oh, Brianna wasn't there. It was Jack and somebody else. They came early, and they got a tour of it. I wish I fucking showed up early. I should have taken another flight. But, bro, he literally sleeps in his office. So I have everything I need in here. Um, my bed, my work computer, a little bench press to get exercise in, a toilet and a shower. And that's my closet. I was on the cover of Rolling Stone recently, which who cares about magazines, whatever. But Steve Jobs was also on the cover of Rolling Stone. So I'm getting this blown up to be the same size as this. So I can have like just matching posters of us both on the cover of Rolling Stone. Could you walk us through a, a normal day? Next I week? feel like he's obsessed. Like I, I like Jimmy. I feel like Jimmy's a nice guy. I feel like he's obsessed with his work. Like, he, I think he loves his job, but I also think it's, like, it's his life. Like, it's his life now. Like, he's, like, he he just does that. India to stay in, like, a $1 hotel and then, like, a $10,000 hotel in the Maldives. And then when I get back, well, that means gaming and reacts fall behind. So I'm going to have to do a whole day of catching up on our reacts videos. I'm going to have to do a day or two catching up on our gaming videos. And then I've been gone. So now I got to spend a whole day catching up on the creative. Well, I would be so fucking, I'm already stressed out on social media, like from having to do a bunch of shit and balance it with college. If I was him, bro, I would be fucking bugging. Even if I had that many workers, dude, he has to record so much content. It's insane. Even all our other main channel videos. Like and then... he has a react channel, main channel, second channel, philanthropy. He makes appearances. He goes on podcasts. Like, fuck. We're... He owns businesses. Mr. Beast Burger, Feastables. He's fucking pulling up TikTok. Oh, nah. Nah, I'd go crazy. Try to make the world's largest balloon. You know, and then Beast Burger and Feastables are probably going to want my head on a platter because I just spent two weeks traveling filming that video and I haven't been talking to them as much. So then probably those meetings will probably fly into town. The main channel is the priority, and then around the main channel schedule, the rest of my life kind of like forms with all the other businesses. Yeah. Well, these are just our English channels, yeah. so then we're going to have Spanish. Who the fuck signed that? There's so many damn signatures. Portuguese, Brazil, Japanese, Hindi, and they'll probably go down to like here. My well of knowledge needs to constantly be expanding, so I have more things to draw inspiration from from our ideas. If not, you're going to get the same ideas over and over again. So it happens for a lot of creators. That's why their videos are repetitive and always the same thing. Because 
if you're not constantly well, he also has the benefit of having a creative crew you know what i mean like if you're an individual creator you're kind of on your own and he probably does come up with a majority of the ideas or at least has a, a massive input but he also has people that can give him shit to do learning new things then your ideas are just limited to what's in your head and eventually you're going to drain it how many hours would you say it takes to edit the average video so our 100 million subscriber special i think we were just doing the math i think it was like collectively like 1700 hours across all the editors the thing is like i'm not the easiest that is fucking crazy if i was a mr beast editor that that might be even worse imagine being handed like uh 400 hours of footage 500 hours of footage. All right. Uh, you're going to cut this down to 15 minutes. And you're going to make it make sense. Because it's not even like just pulling the best clips. It has to be seamless. Like, it has to it has to be good. Like, you can't just fucking cut that shit down and just be like, all right, here's the fucking funniest moments. Plus different perspectives and audio tracks. Yeah. When I was there, we had to sync up our audio. We would do, like, claps and then they would check all this other shit. Interrupting the video. G Fuel Shaker Cup tagged below. Bottom left, probably, depending on the device. That's it. Back to the vid. And so we'll just be like, well, what if we try this? And so we'll have to like, like basically re-edit the video to see if this other way produces a better story and if it flows better. And it's a lot of testing. So we usually edit a video like, you know, five or seven times. Working for Jimmy is like the most particular process. I met him. I met him. If he's not completely happy with the video, then it just keeps on going for like, like an extra week. And we'll just every single he day. He made me stressed out. I remember that shit. I remember I'm talking to him before the challenge starts. And see, I'm not giving anything away. I remember I was like, all right, how do I win this? And he was like talking to me about some shit. He's like, I don't know, man. This is going to be really fucking hard. And I was like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? He made me stressed as hell. It's like, it's, it's a long process, but at the same time, it improves quality. Apparently, if you make a pee joke, it will drop your attention by around 5%. No pee jokes, that's just a no-go, no matter how funny it is. I mean, I think it's funny, but it doesn't matter. It's just a no-go. Like, you can't do that. It's just, no, no. Do you ever take days off? If you make a pee joke, it drops your attention span. So I found giving into my natural instinct works best. So I just work every day, every hour of the day. Um, until I just burn out. Anytime I try to stick to a schedule, it just doesn't work. Cause there are certain Saturdays I'm just fired up and like God himself couldn't stop me from going and working yeah. on a video. And then there are other Saturdays where I'm burnt out. And so, yeah, I just, I just kind of It just becomes a habit though. He probably stresses himself out when he doesn't do it. That's what I do. That's why like, like I, I, I think most streamers, I mean, he's not a streamer, so it's just a different realm, but. When you stream, there's a lot of there's two different types of streamers. There's streamers that are lazy as fuck and they just stream when they feel like it. And then there's streamers that are on like a segmented schedule. I'm on the segmented schedule and oh and then there's a third type. Then there's like the XQC type where he doesn't have a schedule but he'll go live when he feels like it and then go live for like 16 hours. All like I if I don't go live on like segmented days or I don't go live long enough or I don't go live enough days of the month like i stress myself out about it that's an interesting one well let's see we have beast burger uh feastables we have a, a company where we dub channels which runs our mr beast espanol and stuff like that we do that for other people we have mr beast mr beast gaming beast reacts yeah merch as another one honestly i'd have to like open my bank account <laughs> and look through it because like there's also like sub opportunities like we occasionally do things where like we built this app we had people put their finger on the app not, yeah. yeah so we're building other apps did y'all ever participate in that shit i never did that i He's knew i wouldn't win like when, oh whoever keeps their finger on the app the longest like bro like i know there's motherfuckers that would do that shit for like three weeks like i'm gonna fucking get tired burger has done over 100 million in sales and obviously that number has grown a lot bigger since then so like but again it's because it's something people can repeatedly buy merch the best margins but you know it's you just, like a burger or whatever, you know, is something someone can order multiple times a week. Merch, someone's going to buy like twice a year. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What about sponsorships? Oh, yeah, and sponsorships. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, those have gotten crazy recently. I'll tell you over or under. What's, what's the most you think I've gotten for a brand deal? Most he's ever gotten for a brand deal in a video, $10 million. I'm going to go $10 million. I'm going to go 10 million because, dude, like, they, they got... That's how he pays for his videos now, too. 
I mean, it is, they're still pulling a lot of out-of-pocket shit, but, like, he, he used, like, when he started out his videos, it used to be just, like, sheer reinvestment, but now it's, like, almost all profit because the sponsors will pay for his videos. Three million. He got offered one billion for his channel. Yeah. But I hate the people that are like, oh, Mr. Beast, a billionaire. No, he's not a billionaire. Like, his channel's worth a billion, but how do you value a channel, right? Like, you can't value a channel. Because, like, yes, Mr. Beast's channel is maybe worth a billion. But if anybody ran it that wasn't him, it would get no views. You know what I mean? Like, people do that all the time. Hey, if, like, if somebody bought Mr. Beast's account, oh, they would make so much money. Yeah, but if you started posting on Mr. Beast's account and you weren't Mr. Beast, they're not going to fucking watch it. Uh, oh, what did he say? What do you think I've gotten for a brand deal? Three million. More. Uh, Definitely more. <laughs> well, uh, I was hoping you would say something lower. We've definitely done deals around that ballpark, yes. <laughs> oh, it's less. How many people work for you? It's definitely getting big. That's almost in an answer. He said over or under. I, I'd say in general, right? Between feastables and all the stuff we're doing. Like full time yeah, 10 stuff. million might be too much. Because 10 million for one video sponsor, unless it's like a fucking combo deal, like when he would do honey. Like if he's just doing a straight one time video sponsor, maybe 5 mil. Salary, probably 150 people. Maybe, maybe 200. Just kind of depends. It's a lot of like part time jobs and secondhand jobs that are spun off, and that's where it gets into like the hundreds, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is our studio. It's around 40,000 square feet. Studio space in America currently is in very high demand. People are, are struggling to keep up because content creation just in general is growing year over year. So having a big place like this with no beams, which is what was here when we bought them, there's like hundreds of these, which is how most warehouses are. You can't film movies. You can't film content in them. So it's very, very hard because it's expensive. It's much easier just to throw up beams to hold up the roof to find wide open space like this with none. So that's why spaces like this are pretty rare. Do you know how much it costs in terms of running your he own? He knows so much. It's fucking nuts. And he's so young too. He's only three years older than me. Overall business every month. Like on the gaming channel, we probably are spending like, I don't know, depends, like a couple hundred thousand a month. Reacts, a couple hundred thousand a month. The main channel now, probably like three or four million a month. <laughs> um, like. Beastables is spending probably a million or so a month. Beast Burger, same thing. I mean, if you're cleaning like marketing and stuff, a couple million a month. Four so million a month on videos. Dude, what if it's a flop? I mean, they never get flops because it's always like confirmed, right? It's always like, okay, this will be a good video. Like they're always getting, they're always cranking numbers. But imagine them like popping like three mil video, a loss. Just like gets like, gets like 10 million views instead of like a hundred million. And stuff like that, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting pretty crazy. Who manages that? Um, well, if you go over there up those stairs, you'll see a little accounting team that I walk in and I go, I want to give 100 people $100,000. They go, you yeah, the amount of accountants he has is probably nuts. Just to go through the legality of that shit, being able to give out that much money. Going back, they enjoy it, and then everything else benefits. Yeah. Do they make sure that money is, like, put aside just for you, like, just in case? People have been saying that since I had a million subscribers, and the videos get views even if I don't upload. So, yeah. like, if I really wanted to, I could just stop spending and just live off the money. 531,000 Yeah, whenever he wants to retire, he could just fucking stop posting. My, my thing, though, is do you think he has full... I didn't ask him this. I would never ask him this. But do you think he has full ownership of every account? Or do you think it's kind of like a company? Do you think there's like, it's not like a shareholder, right? Because there's no shares in Mr. Beast. But do you think that he owns like 100% and just has employees all under him? Or do you think there's like co-ownership to a degree? It has to be a company. Yeah, it, it could be an LLC or a, or, or a mass media company. But even if it is that, he could still have 100% ownership. I think he has 100% ownership and everybody is under his payroll. And I think he just has everybody manage it. Wow. It's late at night. I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, oh my god. When gosh. we uploaded the island video, we were doing 5 million an hour. So here's- Look at all the channels. Here's the other channels. Pick any channel you want. That is so many fucking channels. Late at night. I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, Oh my god. When gosh. we uploaded the island video, we were doing 5 million an hour. So here's. Look at all. 
It's mainly the it's mainly the different languages. He has so many channels where it's just dub. The channels. Here's the other channels. Pick any channel you want. Bro, that was his personal YouTube account. Jimmy Donaldson. Pick any channel you want. $63,000 a month. Literally, all I want to do is make the best food as possible. Yeah. That's why I live in the studio right over there. So I don't, like, I'm not worried about paying for a mansion. I don't drive a Lamborghini. I purposely have a really, like, dumb. You get access to Carl's? Yeah. Down lifestyle. So when, because it gives you freedom. Like, <laughs> Mr. Beast only, Jimmy Donaldson has only two subscribers. L. L. When they get to this level, they're worried about their $10 million mansion. They're like four or five cars and insurance and keeping up with that. And then like their second home and all these other things. I just cut it all out. I have no like personal debt or th like things, you know, that I have to pay for. So I can just go all in on the business because it's like, it doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? How much do you think it costs? And he's so young. He could literally just ride this for another six years and then live his life. Like... Like, he's so young. He doesn't need to be spoiled. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, why don't you just splurge your money? To a degree, I'm kind of thinking the same damn thing. Like, Jimmy, buy a Lambo or some shit. Fuck. But, like, he could wait. To build an elevator. Uh, my guess here is probably going to be 80 grand. Uh, I think that was around 200,000. Why so much? I, th I said the same thing. <laughs> I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, an elevator is like 20 grand. <laughs> How do you plan to expand the business? Ooh, that's where it gets fun. I think for starters, you know. Why expand? Like, bro, there ha like, do you think he'll ever reach a point where he just stops? Like, when do you think Jimmy will be done doing YouTube? Like, I always sit there and I think of myself and I'm like, damn, like, am I going to be doing this when I'm like 30? No. But like, he could theoretically just do this forever. He's just a host, right? I feel like he'll be done by the time he's 35. I think in 11 years, Jimmy will be done. By then, any time before then. I just want to keep making the best videos possible. I have to reiterate, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but uh -huh. everything I do stems from that. Because if I stop making the best videos, people stop watching. And then Feastables is irrelevant. Beast Burger is irrelevant. All the companies are just literally irrelevant. So that, and then stemming off from that, um, next I really want to get into making mobile games. I think that'd be a lot of fun because we have a gaming channel that gets like 20 million views a video. And then I really want to scale up Feastables, launch new products. We're going to launch- Yo, if he launched a game, that would be so successful. He shouldn't do mobile though. Mobile would be most profitable, but if Mr. Beast worked on a fucking actual game, like a Steam game, that would be nuts. Cookies, and then Beast Burger, we're getting into building physical locations. So in two weeks, we open our first physical Beast Burger. We have 2,000 virtual, we're building that. And then based on how that goes, I wanna build 10, and then 50, and then 100 physical locations, um, and just, you know, keep leveraging the brand. I like pushing myself, and I see it as a sport, and like going hard in business and, and building them, um, even though it's stressful and it's very difficult. Would you stop in six to seven years if you were big as Mr. Beast? I would never be as big as Mr. Beast. There's a follower cap for what content you do, right? My follower cap on TikTok, I'm almost at it, right? Because, like, you, I only can, the only people that can follow me are people that speak English and people that like my content. And I already have 21 mil. For YouTube, I think my follower cap is like 50, or not 50. For, for YouTube, I think my, my follower cap ever would be like four mil, four mil. For Twitch, like three. Because, like, you're in a niche, right? Like, I'm a niche. You guys watch me because you like my content. I don't appeal to everybody. Mr. Beast appeals to everybody. Most people know him. Most people like his content. Not everybody likes me. Leave them. Um, even though it's stressful and it's very difficult. And like, sometimes I'm like, you know, you have a mental breakdown. You're like, why am I doing this? Why did I push myself so hard? But then when you're not doing it, you're just depressed. So it's like yeah. a weird system, a weird situation, but I love it. But yeah. sometimes I don't. We're gonna try to do uh, world's largest hydraulic press versus a Lambo, see if we can squish it. Then we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna put a rocket on a car and see how many buses you can jump over. Um, and then world's largest elephant too. Wow, this is one that actually already came out. Yeah, because this was four months ago. Space, world's largest paper airplane. What's your biggest insecurity? Like world's a largest paper airplane. That's a fire video idea. That's a good fucking video. Very fast paced. And a so big ass paper airplane. Sometimes you do have to give up a little bit of the story to, in, in order to keep the videos moving. Of anything, it would be that. Like 
a lot of people think the only reason we get views is because I just that's a much. lot of trees. Yeah, no, I already know. Hey guys, today we're doing. Hey guys, today we're doing the world's largest paper airplane. And don't worry, we planted forty thousand trees to make up for this loss. They got it, and they don't realize that you know we spent a decade. No, but I can tell he loves his job. Just studying what does well. Um, you know, studying, figuring out our own style, figuring out our own way to do things, and that amount of hours I put into like just expanding the inspiration in my brain just so I can come up with original ideas and the, the, like the months on months we spend building the sets and working on it and the weeks we spend editing and all this. Bro, you and know the, the first thing he said to me when he met me? I, it was along the lines of, damn, you're not yelling. Like the first, wow, you're not mad. Like you're not angry. Like you're actually just talking. <laughs> That was like the first thing he said. And you know, they're just like, oh, that, he just spent money. That's it. That's There's nothing special. You know what I mean? That Speaking so of cool. which, yeah. you want to see where we store our money? Let's see. I think like people don't realize just how crazy it is. For us, we have 100 million people on average that watch almost everything we put up. Um, no, actually it excites me because I've had hundreds of parents, probably even a thousand at this point, tell me stories of like their kids watch that and then when they get tooth fairy money, they wanna go donate to charity. Or like their little 12 year old kid wants to go volunteer so because cool. they watched a Peace Philanthropy video. No, I, I feel like we're doing a good job in inspiring people to, to care and you know, um, yeah, maybe it could be perfect, but in general, I feel like compared to other stuff, we're doing a pretty good job. Oh my gosh, we're about to hit one point or one. That is so fucking cool. That dead ass moves with his fucking sub count. 103 million, that's, yeah. that's hard to say. So I'm curious on this one. How do you balance having a relationship? With my current girlfriend, she's actually from South Africa. So that is the hard part because I live in my- I don't remember where I heard him saying that. It was in some fucking video. Video, mm -hmm. I don't really ever do anything fun and I work 99% of the time. So one thing is like, I also, I'm obsessed- Yeah, he doesn't have, I don't know how he's not stressed out. Damn, Jimmy, y'all, <laughs> Y'all think Jimmy smokes weed? Y'all think Jimmy... I was about to say, I was about to say, this motherfucker must be stressed out. He has no free time. No free time. He's working 99% of the day. Fuck. Like, 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 I would be pissed. I would be like, bro, like, I need to fucking do nothing. With learning, and so it was very important I found someone that also likes learning. So she loves reading books. She loves, like, experiencing things. So, like, I don't see, like, taking, like, an art class as a waste of time because that might creatively inspire me or, like, a pottery class or... Even going just and a shooting. fat fucking blunt. <laughs> You're just outside randomly somewhere in North Carolina. You see Jimmy just fucking on the side of the road, just fucking smoking a fat doobie, just like a three, like an eighth fucking joint, an eighth, an eighth fucking blunt. And guns or whatever, some mm -hmm. some new thing. Just fucking sitting there, just fucking just ripping that shit, going, uh, just fucking grunting and shit to himself, just fucking mad as hell. <laughs> Ugh, this gaming channel is starting to piss me off. That fucking TNT challenge didn't go as well as I thought it would. So, uh, usually it's like us... <laughs> He's smoking that joint. He's fucking halfway through a fucking eighth joint. Dude, what if we like... What, what if we like made like a really big paper airplane? <laughs> Dude, like, no lie. What if we like made like a massive paper airplane? Like a really big one though. Doing something like that where in my head I'm learning something and I can kind of justify the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. To my like business obsessed brain self. So it's that. And that, and it's also good to unwind um, and you know, so you can actually go to bed at a reasonable time and not just lay there working in your head. To be a good business owner, don't you have to know like where every penny in your company goes or something like that? You would think, but yeah. you know what? If you hire someone else to do that for you. Then... I just want to focus on making great videos. So like, yeah. I'm not as like involved Oh, this is pretty cool. Just a laser-like focus and obsession is just kind of what I aim to like implement in our videos because it's, yeah, it's just beautiful to see. Hey, you should subscribe right now. That, you know, a lot of people who wouldn't have done it because they just didn't think of it are now thinking about it and it will convert to like 10 or 20,000. So literally just say it. Dude, it really does feel like a fever dream that I was in one of those videos. Like when I, when that video comes out and we watch it, dude, I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Like that's going to be nuts. Like, I, like, it was so spontaneous, too. Bro hit me up, and he was like, or not even, I don't even know if it was him. It was the TikTok account, though. Hey, you want to fly out tomorrow? And I was like, yeah, sure. 
Like, literally was just expecting to chill. Next day, I'm fucking on a plane. Shit was whack. Most spontaneous thing I've ever done. All right. Hold on. I gotta go pee, then we're gonna do the next video.